Hi folks, Bob Warfield here. I want to give you a quick demonstration of our GWizard Editor's Conversational CNC Wizard. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the facing wizard today for lathes. So this is our GWizard Editor, G-Code Editor, Software Simulator, and uh, it contains a feature that we call Conversational CNC Wizards. So what's a conversational CNC wizard? Well here are here are the different wizards that are available for turning and uh, we're gonna do the facing wizard today but the idea is if you didn't want to have to go to the trouble to create a drawing and run a chem program in order to get your G code you just wanted to do something easy filling out uh, a few fields on a form and get back G code to do things that are easy to do say on manual lathes but you want to do it on a CNC that's what conversational CNC is all about, is making that easy. So as I say, this is the facing wizard. This is the one we're going to demonstrate for this video. And you just go through and fill it out. Kind of, I like to go kind of left to right, top to bottom, but it doesn't really matter. It's whatever order you want to do things in. Uh, you tell it what work offset you want to work with. I'm going to just use G54. Uh, rapid 2. So you want to tell it where it can go with rapids uh, before it starts cutting. So in this case, let's say we want to uh, do a facing cut on a piece that's uh, three inches in diameter. So I'm going to let it wrap it to uh, say 3.1 inches uh, in the X direction. And uh, we're going to put our uh, start of the start of the uh, Z cut is going to be at zero, but we don't we want to keep a tenth of an inch. Uh, difference there when we wrap it so that it goes more slowly when it gets close to the stock. Uh, tool 1 is fine for uh, both the uh, roughing and finishing. Uh, if you have a separate roughing uh, finishing tool you can uh, specify that there. Uh, for roughing depth of cut I'm going to put in uh, 50 thousandths. Uh, if you don't know what to use for that you can use our uh, GWizard calculator software to help you figure that out, but uh, 50 thousandths is fine for this. Uh, I'm going to use an inch per revolution uh, feed rate instead of specifying inches a minute, and so that box is checked. And I'm going to go, I don't know, I'm going to go uh, 5 thousandths of an inch per revolution. Uh, constant surface speed, so again we specify our uh, surface feet per minute rather than uh, having to give it uh, RPMs. Uh, and it'll automatically figure the rest of it out. Uh, we do want to give it a maximum RPM. Uh, and let's say in this case I'm going to put 500 RPM on it. Uh, finish depth of cut. I'll, I'll stay with the default of uh, 15 thousandths. Our finish feed rate, I'm going to just set that pretty low so we get a nice finish. And then I'm going to keep the same uh, finish surface speed there. So those are all the different uh, parameters over here on the various feeds and speeds. Let's go over here now and look at sort of what does the geometry look like. So uh, I said I was going to start the cut with uh, z equals zero and I'm going to knock off uh, two tenths of an inch. Make sure that face is nice. Uh, it wants us to have uh, our x start and end. You don't have to face all the way if there's a a center bore or, or a feature you want to avoid. Uh, you, we can just do a partial facing, but in this case I'm going to go all the way from uh, three inches in to zero, and our little error message goes away. And now I've got everything all filled out and I'm ready to insert. So I click the insert and now here's all my G-code uh, ready to go. You can see a, a little back plot here showing you what the what the heck is going on and, and in fact it makes two roughing passes and then it comes back and makes finish pass. Uh, not a lot to it. Uh, it records here as comments all of the different uh, information you gave it and then it creates a program for you. There's a, a safe start block, there's the setup for the feeds and speeds, there's a tool change, uh, we make our roughing passes here change our feeds and speeds again and change tools to the finish pass and then here's our finish pass and then there's finally a uh, uh, ending block of code. So that's all there is to it. Really quick and easy uh, G-code generation. 
Uh, there's a variety of different uh, conversational CNC wizards available for both the mill and the lathe. And uh, we hope you'll check that out and get some good use out of it. Thanks very much.